Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Edogs82, and I'm back with a game called Star Wars Conquest. It is a Mountain Blade Warband mod, and I know that I haven't been recording in a while. I'm sorry, guys. I just got really discouraged once I wanted to do a game and figured out that my computer wasn't powerful enough for it. So I took a break and I've been off doing my studies at TAFE, training to be a uh, early childcare educator. I'm doing a diploma in early childcare, which is pretty awesome. And so today <clears throat> I'm back and hopefully I can keep this going. So today with uh, the Star Wars Conquest mod, I don't know what it is, but I really like this game. I've really just gotten into Star Wars heaps lately. I've been watching the movies, the Clone Wars, the TV show. It's just been fun all around. And so I played this a little bit already. I've got <laughs> a couple of saves, as you can see. <laughs> so I've messed around quite a bit. So. Here we go, we've got the human, male and female counterpart, Twi'lek, male and female. I've played Twi'lek male. Uh, we've got Rodian, Mon Calamari, Trandoshan, which I've played also. Droid, I've played Droid, I've played Wookiee. Celestin, Gamorian, Bothan, Genosian, Jawa, and Tuscan. That's what I was recently playing was Tuscan, which is really fun. Um, today I think I'm going to go with, hmm, let's go with Gamorian, yeah. You spent the, your early years th traveling throughout the galaxy with your parents. Your father was, what was my father? Let's say Bounty Hunter. As you grew older, you decided to join either the Rebel Alliance, the Galactic Empire, or the Hut Cartel. Well, seeing as we are, as that we are a Gamorian, and we are bound, our father was a Bounty Hunter, it seems appropriate that we also join the Hut Cartel and become a Bounty Hunter. You spent several months doing random jobs for the local crime lord, Thievery and murder became a common part of your life, and you developed enough of a reputation that you were given a small ship and sent to Tatooine to pledge your loyalty before Jabba the Hutt. Okay. So, we're going to jump in here real quick with our name, Edox. Yep. Okay, so what do we want to do? I want to beef myself up and be fast. So we're going to, in the beginning of the game, so we're going to go lots of Iron Flesh, Power Strike, and it looks like we are specking into one-handed and pistols to begin with. Let's drop everything we can into those two skills. Look at that ugly mug. Not even a mother could love that. <laughs> All right. Randomizing doesn't seem to do anything, so we'll just make ourselves a little bit older. Just hair color all the way to the max. That's what we're going to look like, ladies and gentlemen. Just face it. <laughs> all right. It's a period of civil war. The Galactic Empire is in, co in constant battle with the Rebel Alliance, while the Hutt Cartel looks for opportunities to make money and expand the area of rule. Whatever course you take, a great adventure awaits you. Okay, so here we are. We've got our little patrol ship with our five hut militia, which look like this. So our base troops start off at level six, looking all hut horrific. And this is our guy, a ridiculous Gamorrean. <laughs> My goodness. 
What is this? It looks like a human... Oh, yeah, it's because of the armor. The armor has just changed everything. <laughs> Check this out, guys. For real. It's just hilarious. That's what a standard Gamorrean looks like. Oh, man, that's funny as. Alright, so we'll just put our ridiculous armor back on. Actually, I like the black boots better. And... Let's move all this down a bit. Reorganize my food supplies. Okay, so we got a Westar 34, which is a very nice pistol, doing 40 penetrating damage. Or piercing damage. It has 90 accuracy and its speed is 130. So it's pretty quick. Change the cartridges to the orange ones. This DL18 isn't as good. So we'll keep it anyways. We've got one a one-handed vibro axe and a Westar 34 shield. That is rather interesting. I wasn't very aware of the fact that you could have a shield. Well, that's cool. Let's uh, jump into Tatooine. Go to the cantina and see if there's anybody here. Man, there's... I gotta get some legit Gamorrean armor. Kyle Katarn. Well, look what we have here, another mercenary here in this great big galaxy, caught between the Empire and the Rebellion. Just trying to make a buck and stay alive. Look, I saw you sizing me up from the moment you walked in here. And I've got enough experience to know that means you're either about to fight me or hide me. Hmm. You're a sharp one. Sharper than you know. I've got some abilities, few people have abilities that cost more than your average amount of skill set. Judging from the way you carry yourself, I think you know what I mean by that. Maybe a hundred years ago we'd have been classmates on Coruscant, but the galaxy's a different place now. And, the, and there are different rules. There's no good guys, there's just guys who'll shoot you and guys who'll pay you to shoot other guys. <laughs> I, come to, I came to realize that's the galaxy I live in. It's a rough galaxy with rough rules. So are we going to be playing on the same t team or not? Hmm, I like the way you think. Alright then, I don't need to sell you on my skills. I know a captain like you can tell more from looking than I could tell you by talking. Will we call it a partnership? Then it's a partnership. Alright then, 300 credits and we'll call it a deal. Are we in or are we going to walk out that door alone? Certainly, here's your payment partner. Good, give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Excellent. So, we've just hired a, a new companion, just straight out the gate. Basically spends all our money. Well, here's another companion that we can grab. Just no money, so I doubt he'll be down to enlist for free. That means let's go to the marketplace and sell some of our garbage gear. Yes, I am. Alrighty. Selling all of this has netted us, I think, enough money to grab that companion. Here he is, Wrath Varric. Yes, what is it you wish? To pass the time of day with a fellow traveler if you permit. Very well, I do not mind. I'm a mercenary by trade, much as yourself, no doubt. And I have learned that the more you sweat your men, the more blood you'll save them, and the more tears you'll save their wives. Unfortunately, the last captain I served as lieutenant to didn't see things quite the same way. I'm sure he regretted that when his men broke under pressure, tried to flee, and ended up taking Imperial Blaster Bolts to the back. Regret doesn't bring a man back, though, and I swore I'd never work for a soft captain again. So if you know any of 
of any captain who believes that the best way to protect his soldiers is to grind out the cowards and fools from their ranks, do let me know. I might be able to use you in my crew. Well, I certainly wouldn't mind an opportunity to get back to the spacefaring life. I'm a career soldier born and bred for fighting, and I can take a rabble of soft misfits and turn them into soldiers nearly as good as I am if you're willing to work the weakness out of them. But I'll be happy to hire someone like you. Ah, one last thing. I would ask for an initial bounty of 400 credits before I join your command. It's my principle never to enter someone's service without receiving the payment I deserve. Alright, he's 400 credits. You're most welcome in our company. Excellent. And now I'm almost completely poor yet again. Alright, where's Ethan? Where's Ethan? Get up. Ethan! I'll see you guys in a minute. Ethan! <laughs> love you. Oh. I love you. I really need yourself. I will. Go to bed. <laughs> okay? Boring, Annie Merrill. Boring. Do you have to go? Alright, guys, I'm back. Hey. Just had to say goodbye to my aunt who was going back to America. Oh, I hope she's not gonna get mixed up in all the riots. But, anyways, we're here to greet Jabba the Hutt and swear our loyalty to him. My name is Edogs. I'm at your service, sir. I am Jabba the Hutt, the ruler of the Hutt Cartel and the Lord of Tatooine. What is it? My lord, I have come to offer you my services as commander. You are known as a brave warrior and a fine leader of troops, Edogs. I shall be pleased to accept you into my service and be my command <laughs> pardon me. And be my commander if you are ready to swear your allegiance to me. I am ready, my lord. Good, then repeat these words with me. I swear allegiance to you as ruler of the Hutt Cartel. I will remain as your loyal and devoted ally as long as my breath remains. And I will be at your side to fight your enemies should you need me. Finally, I will uphold your leadership claim and those of our allies. Very well, you have given me your allegiance, Edogs. May you uphold it always with the proper with proper courage and devotion to our cause. Let it be known that from this day forward, you are my sworn ally and commander. I give you my protection and grant you the right to bear arms in my name. And I pledge that I shall not deprive, deprive you of your life, liberty, or properties except by the lawful judgment of your peers, or by the law and custom of the galaxy. Furthermore, I give you the planet of Narkrita with all its nearby facilities. You have done a wise thing, Edogs. Serve me well, and I promise you will rise high. I thank you, my lord. Okay, someone doesn't like us. Quee Quake. I have great hopes for you, Edogs. I know you should. Oh, lovely. Right in the center of absolutely nowhere. <laughs> oh, we were under attack. Let's land and fight on Tatooine. Everyone, follow me. Alright, so we've got our dual pistols, which is kind of hilarious. Everyone, form up right there. Form a firing line, please. Let's spread out. We don't want anyone clustered up and getting shot because they're standing next to somebody and the shot goes astray. Okay, our enemies are coming. 
spread out some more guys. You guys are still too clustered, in my opinion. Oh, here comes enemy fire. Okay, are they going to come to us or are we going to them? Where are they? Oh, they're slowly coming. Hopefully my new companions will uh, be excellent. Nice, we hit them. I killed one, oh! Reload! Keep firing, man! Don't stop! Put down the ducker! Oh no, don't get in the way! Friendly fire is not good! We won! Yes! Oh, right there, we're taking it out, dammit. Alright. Let's grab some armor, ammo belt, usable in a rifle, that would be awesome to have if I had one. Pipe helmet, it's not better. Ah, oh, come on, the gear here is rubbish. At least we got some new gloves. That's something. That'll protect us a little better. <laughs> Alrighty, friends. We have some leveled up hut militia. They are now hut mercenaries, which is awesome. Wrath Varric, I want you to be an archer. Kyle Katan is also an archer. Let's talk about your gear, gentlemen. Alrighty, so you have a vibroblade, a DL44. Do I have anything for you? 2812. There you go, sir. Give your pipe helmet so you can look fantastically ridiculous. <laughs> and that's all I can spare for you right now. Nice. Wrath Varric, what can I do for you, sir? You have a tunic. 16 and 8. Ah, Casper's online. Cool. She's a good friend of mine. 2812. Or 2911. Yeah, let's give you this armor. And you have the same pistol that I have. Good job, Wrath. Alright, we've got a helmet for you too, somewhere. <laughs> that looks ridiculous, but it's fine. Alright. <laughs> nice style wrath. Okay, we got a level up on our ridiculously misshapen character. Alright, let's make ourselves a bit faster. So up the athletics. Let's get our one-handed attack up. And we are going to our planet. Ah, we can now have a banner of our own. Let's take a look at the options. So these are the official banners of the Empire, the Rebels, and the Huts. And the rest are variants of each. 
interesting. I think I'll go with this one. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we're being intercepted by Tuscan Raiders. It's time to show them what for. Alrighty, man. That's the one. Eat fiber wax. Filthy test of radius. Get them, boys. Ooh. Typically, I find the Morians to be quite good at melee combat. Oh, we got taken out, damn it. Ah, oh, we killed so many of them, too. Two versus five. Okay, let's fight on the ship. Everyone, charge! I'm not going to be able to aim very good. Try and close the distance and just ask them a question. Whoa. Too slow. And we've been taken prisoner by these punks. Yup. Not a great start to the game. Sure, I'll pay six dollars while I'm in captivity. Okay, let's get that strength up, power strike, one-handed abilities, our pistols. Who do we have? Our companions. Nice. Let's save this because our game tends to crash. Let's go get our men back. Alrighty. No time for strategy, gents. We're just going in. Damn, my arm is so shiny right now. I'm honestly surprised that my HP has been recovered as much as it has. <laughs> so we've got a human, a Twi'lek, and a Gamorrean. What could go wrong? Oh, a headshot! Apparently I'm a better shot than I knew. And we are victorious! Take that, you dirty scum raiders. I'll just be taking my men back now, thank you. And all that gear that you nicked from me. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. Ooh, I'm gonna take those. Get 
fucked off, you stick. <laughs> Got ammo for like all the wrong guns. <laughs> Where did they take us? It, oh, close to our planet, kind of. Closer. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's let's stop in at Nashada while we're here. Get some recruits. Ooh. Nobody wants to join me, huh? Pop over to Null Hutter and sell all the scrap gear that we picked up. All right. With the food back at the top, dump the helmets. Imsari is our next destination. Got some f four hut militia, nice. Go to Narkrita. Oh, Jawas being chased by a patrol. And we got six more hut militia. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we don't have anywhere near enough. Okay. We can have seven, uh, 32 guys with us. That's pretty cool. So, we don't have prisoner management yet. But we will. Okay. First things first, let's go to Gamor. Home planet of me. The dogs, the Gamorian. And let's see what we can trade to get a little get a credit. Let's try and see what's uh, good to trade. <clears throat> okay. Apparently our trading skills are lackluster. And it looks like nothing here in Gamora is actually uh, going to sell for much. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. Um, trade is Charisma. Let's go Intelligence and get two trade. Uh, let's up my one-handed abilities. Save it there again. Okay, let's pay a vi visit to Nalhara, home of the Hut clan, and see what's good in the neighborhood. All right, buying hydro spanners here and selling it at Endor would bring a profit of 238 credits per item. Buying oil here and selling it at Hoth would bring a profit of 192 per item. And oil and selling it at Kashyyyk, 158. Well, let's go for hydro spanners and uh, sell it to Endor. If they have it. Yes, here they do. So I can sell that for <laughs> just one. Okay. So that wasn't... Amazing, but it's a start. Okay, let's go to Endor, wherever you are over here. Okay, hopefully we have a big enough pie to not get murderized getting over there. Alrighty, that's... Very good. We've made it to Endor. Ooh, there's a tournament. Definitely going to participate in that. We're going to sell the Hydro Spanners for a tidy profit. Let's join the tournament. Place a 100 credit bet on myself because I'm pretty confident that I'll win. Excellent. <coughs> Ooh, 
no, 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 Oh, I hit somebody. Nice, nice. And I missed. Speed of bikes that aren't like because they're very fragile. Nice. Go team. <laughs> okay, four teams versus the two. And I'm on a speed of bike again. <laughs> Let's just try and stay alive while we're here. Ooh! My speeder bike is almost toast. Yep, speed bike's down. He's all over me, this trend ocean. But I got it. <laughs> Three teams of two. I mean, they really love to give you the speeder bike. But like, what's the one thing we can give E-Dogs to get a disadvantage in this fight that we know he hates using? Oh, I know, a speeder bike! Gotcha! Come here. Are you an enemy? No, you're a friend. Good. It's two teams of one, so one v one, gentlemen. Oh, and I'm not on a speeder bike, but he is. That's it. Goodbye, speeder bike. Good night. Oh, and he's got a sword. I've got a fiber axe. And I'm good. Fifty credits. Starting around on run out of money. Two teams of one. Who is my enemy? You, sir. <laughs> Get close to him. Yep, that's the way to beat a long-reached weapon. Close the distance, and we win. Nice. Now we're rolling in the cash. What can we sell from Endor for a profit? Selling Durasteel at Hypori would be good. Okay. Let's do it. And that is literally all the Durasteel I have here. Cool. Time to get out of here. And back to Hypori. Which is right next to Tatooine. How close am I to leveling up? Yeah, a bit far off. Ooh, the rebels are on the move. Uh oh, we got trouble. We got the Black Suns. Uh, Black Sun thugs after us. Those damn pirates. Ooh, I like this place. Everybody, set up over here, please. And blast those fools as they come across. I'll hang out with my companions over here while we wait for the enemy. Just can't quite reach them. Hope you guys are ready. Open fire! I'm 
actually getting some really long shots with a, a pistol. I cannot believe that. Oh, a headshot! Oh, that guy is really armored. I need to take him out. Hey, you, Mr. Marksman. Down you go. That's the one. Shooting in the leg. Oh! We got it! Nice! Congrats, Barrack is down again. <laughs> this guy was like, I'm a tough man. I'm so hard, I'll make your guys that look soft, hard, but you know, I'm the one that always gets knocked out. <laughs> this guy. Ooh, we got a nice rifle. Scavenger armor. Let's pimp that stuff out. Tactic side piece. <laughs> oh, we're out of room, ladies and gentlemen. Let's change my gloves to something better. Abandon those items <clears throat> and upgrade the soldiers to a marksman and a guard. Let's put the mercenaries down to the bottom. We have leveled up yet again. Let's go up with that. Let's put our shield up because we're going to need that. Better coverage. Go rifles too because we're going to be using that rifle the second that we can. So we are on our way to Hypori. Let's talk to our companions real quick and deal out the equipment. Here you go, mate. You can have my shiny ass armor. You can take those black boots, sir. Helmets. I have a water helmet for you. Perfect. Here's an energy shield, sir. Wrath Varric, what am I going to do with you? A man who just cannot stop dying. You can go take that helmet instead. You can have the vibro axe. And let's hope. Yep, we're gonna get attacked again, but let's keep moving. Try and get out of there, and we're not gonna make it. All right. Let's fight on Nabu. Oh man, they are coming in fast. It's time for a fight. Uh, you guys form a firing line, please. Oh, look at that. Our armor looks pretty sweet. Everybody form up right there. <coughs> Open fire as soon as you can. We've got our one hot marksman. The only guy with a, a rifle. Maybe I'm getting flogged. That's what I want to do. 
Oh, I hit someone. This bullet drop. Gnarly. That's the one. Come here, mate. Just thump you with my axe. Yeah, yeah. And there we go. We took them out, no problems. Try and get an even spread. And what year can we pick up today? Ooh. Give that to a companion. Usable in a rifle. Okie dokie, time to hang up the. Here we go. Pistol and move into the rifle. Hmm. Alright, we got a lot of gear here. Not really any of it better than mine that I'm currently possess. Alrighty. Aha, uh -huh, the hut mercenary. Carl Katan, let's give you my old pistol. The cartridges. Alrighty. You're equipped for battle. Good. I don't think I'm going to be amazing with the rifle straight away, but we'll see. And we're going to keep on trucking towards Hypori. And hopefully not get intercepted on the way. Again. Oh, we got a lot of money in the bank. Oh, who got us? The Royal Imperial Guard. Ooh. Can we pay you? Cool. I don't think we're capable of taking out those guys just yet. They are quite the soldiers. I don't want to lose my cargo. It's a small price to pay. Alrighty, here we are. Ooh. Sell that dearest steel to the highest price. Absolutely milk in the bank right now. Armor merchant. Whoops, too much. And we are almost empty on everything. Alright, let's talk to the goods merchant and see if we can get rid of everything else. 
Yes, we can. Nice. So we have a good little bit of money flourishing here. How many men do we need? We need another 10 in our party to have a full set. This armor of mine is actually nice, really nice. The way it's all set up. Kind of makes me look reasonable as a Demorian who's skinny. Oh, we got a droid. Power on the droid. Hello, Master. I am a protocol droid trained in a variety of skills. What are your orders? Join my party. Yes, Master. Shall I meet you at the ship? Yes. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Excellent. We've got Gavin Ishkanda. Want a drink? Of course you want a drink. You're in a cantina here, friend. My treat. I just won a thousand credits playing Bazak against a particularly stupid Gamorian. So here's a hint, when a piggy's dealing, say, give me another card instead of hit me. <laughs> Thanks for your story. My story, I'm a Kore I'm a Corellian th through and through. I joined up with Corsac like my daddy before me. My first raid on a spice smuggling ring went bad fast, and I took a stunner to the chest. And when I came to, I was stashed with a bunch of my dead mates in a holding room. After my capture, I saw opportunity. I dumped my uniform, swapped my clothes and ID with a dead smuggler, filled my pack with litter sti stim, and set off. That spice brought, brought a pretty penny, and I've been drinking, gambling, and brawling across the galaxy ever since. I mean, sure, it gets rough from time to time, but I can take on anyone in a fight. Though that piggy's likely to bring back friends, hey, once an enforcer, I'm probably going to need a ride off this rock soon anyway. Might as well get paid for doing what I love, eh? Sounds like you can bust heads, I can use an enforcer. Sounds good to me. Though I should warn you, I'm not the type to just take it when people act out of line. If someone steps on my toes, they get it in the face, right? Tell it, your boys to keep off my back and I'll watch yours. There won't be any problems. Get your things in order. Excellent. We got a free companion out of that. Two free companions, actually. Twilight Commando. Hello. Absolutely, you can come with me. Ransom Broker would be nice, but I don't have any. Illegal Weapons Merchants. Good day. I have several items for sale if you're interested. Yeah, show me what you have for sale. Awesome. Now these weapons, like the flame rifle, are just incredible. They're experimental weapons, like this concussion rifle also, and they do work. They absolutely just slaughter my enemies, and it's not funny. It is disgusting the damage they can do. I can shoot this flame rifle five or six times and take out like about 150 enemies. That is insane. Alright, where is the bartender? Back here. Alright, let's hire a few more men for our Miranda army. Let's hire some Gamorian brethren, brothers of mine. Punch our robot friend and peace out. <laughs> Alright. Twilight Commandos, you guys are coming to the top of my party. Uh, you, sir, are moving up also, as well as you. Let's put you in the Archer group, and you also in the Archer group. Now, I think we've had a good day, ladies and gentlemen. I really do. So, I'm going to call that the episode right here, but it's been a good start. I hope you guys have liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!
Thank you.